The year was 2020 and there was a pandemic and I was unemployed for months so I did a lot of bike riding and I got the correct equipment and I checked out the Florida Coast to Coast bike trail and its path and I followed it most of the way from uh, St. Petersburg all the way to Titusville is where you're supposed to go but I ended up going to Cocoa Beach because the trail needs some work. Alright well here we go. Leaving St. Pete, all packed up, ready to go. In uh, three or four days, I'll be in Titusville, Florida, looking at the Atlantic Ocean. Made sure I got everything straightened out at home. very beginning of the Fred Marquis Pinellas Trail. First day, doing good. Rain's coming. Stopped in Dunedin and uh, had myself a cheeseburger. Well, that there says it's 96 degrees. Rain. Here it comes. Six miles. I'm on State uh, Highway 54. The, um, the trail system has failed through this part of the state. They've been working on this for about five years and they still haven't made a connection between the Pinellas Trail and the Suncoast Trail. There's about a 12 mile gap.
pretty nice campfire. The thing is, I lit it at 3.30 in the morning. I, uh, I was the only camper in the entire campground. The uh, COVID-19 and all that, I was the only one in J.B. Starkey Wilderness. So when the, when the ranger said goodbye to me at whatever time, 8 o'clock, and after I got some pizza, which was delivered to me because it wasn't too far out of town, I was the only human being for probably like 10 acres. So uh, about 3 o'clock in the morning, I hear something rustling in the bushes. And uh, at first I'm like, oh no, I hope that's not a bear, and that's not a bear. And I'm like, I hope it's not a coyote, and then I'm like, it's not a coyote. And then I'm like, holy shit, I hope it's not a person. Because that would have been pretty damn creepy, knowing that I was the only one out there and somebody was walking up on me. So I unzipped my my tent and I looked out with my light and about 25 feet in front of me, the only way I could describe it was I saw three sets of demon eyes staring back at me. And I knew there were raccoons, but they were way too close. And they definitely wanted my pizza box. So I didn't care. I was getting them away. Um, if you're a biker, you know after a long ride, you probably want to let everything cool off down below so I was I was sleeping in the nude or trying to sleep in the nude I had a t-shirt on but I jumped up with the adrenaline and jumped out of my tent and I was grabbing whatever I could find and I was hucking it at the uh, raccoon so I'm running around with giant logs whipping them bare ass naked at these raccoons so it seemed like it worked and they they went away and I went and laid back down and about 15 minutes later I'm like oh my god here they are again and that's when it dawned on me that they wanted my pizza box. And I uh, decided that I had to burn it right then and there at whatever time, 3, 3.30 in the morning. Once again, not caring about what I'm wearing. So there I am in the dark, in the nude, building a fire with my pizza box, walking around with my cell phone light looking for twigs and branches and whatever. And uh, I got it done. I lit the fire, didn't hear nothing back from the... Uh, from the raccoons and that was the first night so always burn your trash or hang your trash if you're in the woods especially in Florida because uh, raccoons are they weren't gonna mess with me but they certainly weren't gonna let me sleep day two 46 miles heading past Brooksville a little bit Butenbach campground it's called it's a uh, motorcycle campground so two wheels are definitely friendly, apparently. Last night, I didn't sleep too good because I probably camped a little too close to the path. I probably camped a little close to the, uh, Jesus. I think I have a flat tire. Three alligators right down there. There's a gator right there. I've been using CBD oil for about six months. It helps me sleep and uh I ran out before the trip and I didn't think that uh, with all the exertion that I would need it to help me sleep but I definitely needed it with, for the aches and pains and other things so uh, I went on the interweb and uh, looked up who was the closest CBD distributor in my area and turns out I found this fella who looks a lot like Kenny Rogers but his name is Bob and he's an 86 year old X Jiu-Jitsu. There are two words pronounced like that. J-I-U-J-I-T-S-U or J-U-J-I-T-S-U. Champion who started taking it because of uh, a neck injury. And um, he's got a bang-up business and he sells all over the place in Florida with uh, 
farmers markets and stuff and um, he hooked me up with what I needed and good company and filled my water bottles it was only about a maybe a 10 mile trip off the uh, off the trail and uh, it was a pleasure meeting him and uh, that's all part of the adventure <laughs> Ooh, I'm in the mud. Change of plans. Pouring rain. Uh, sat in the subway and tried to wait the rain out. And as I sat there, I realized it wasn't going to get any better. It was going to get worse. So I canceled the uh, the camping plans for tonight. And uh, I'm pushing through to pretty much the same spot. There's a quality in right down the road from the campsite. And uh, that's fine for me. A little disappointed. Didn't really want to do any motelling just because I want to camp. But that's the way it goes. away from my uh, first hotel experience on this trip and I got it because it was pouring rain and uh, it's not pouring rain anymore but that's fine because uh, I didn't sleep at all last night and uh, I'll be rested up and dry and clean ready for a big one tomorrow so that's it State Road uh, Route 50 uh, goes right through the with uh, with Kalahuchi with uh, an Indian state forest. With Lacuchi, just say the Hernando County State Forest exactly how it's spelled with Lacuchi. And uh, it is absolutely beautiful, except for the trucks that fly by at 75 miles an hour and blow me off my bike. Other than that, it's wonderful. I've only got 10 more miles of this and then I'm back on the trail. Yeah, you don't just go walking off into the woods in here in the, in the swamp. 
Look at this guy. Not sure what it is, but look at this guy. So I'm finally off that stupid road with all the trucks, and I'm on some windy, beautiful country, Sumner County, Florida road. That's it. <laughs> So like everywhere else in Florida, if you go a couple blocks in any direction, you can end up in a completely different environment, and uh, that's Lake County for sure. Um, most of the path along the bike path was like super rich, affluent, high-end stores. I actually had my hands on a $16,000 bicycle that some fella was... Uh, was getting fixed at this place I tried to have him clean my chain and he wanted to charge me 45 bucks to clean my chain so I told him to uh, pound salt anyways uh, Winter Garden Florida just beautiful the entire town it seems faces the, uh, the bike path which makes sense because it's the old railroad and that's how towns were built and but this is more planned out and uh, just beautiful at 6 o'clock p.m. there was it seemed like the entire town was out either rollerblading or biking or walking or pushing their kids and carts or whatever I ended up rolling up on these uh, three old guys which dropped down to two old guys and uh, they couldn't get over the fact that I was traveling without having a map <laughs> and uh, I explained to them Google and they didn't know what I was talking about so they um, were real skeptical about the place that I was I chose to have the motel which was in uh, Eatonville which is you know a lot like St. Petersburg and some of the rougher areas so I knew where I was but uh, I was pretty happy to get out of there in the morning anyways I rode along with those two fellows for about 15 miles 
and uh, they were cool. Anyways, day four, the final day. This place was seedy as hell. Nothing worked. This right here is possibly the coolest, best thing I've ever owned in my life. Day four, slept pretty good last night. Not very long, but pretty good. Fitbit said that I got 10% more deep sleep than I normally get. And uh, I'm on the dreaded 436 coming out of Winter Park or coming into Winter Park. I'm not really sure. But I've got a bike lane. One thing that I noticed is uh, you can pretty much tell how affluent a town is by whether or not they have a bike lane. It's uh, pretty indicative of the gentrification of the world. So I've got 70 miles today and I'll be at the Atlantic Ocean. I got a, uh, I got a room all booked for um, tonight and tomorrow night. So once again, it's raining. It rains every day. <clears throat> Pretty uh, confused as to why I thought I could camp in July in Florida. But I definitely don't mind the hot bath and the warm bed or the soft bed or the hard bed or the cold bed. I don't mind the uh, stopper not working in the tub. I did mind the mold though. Motel 6 had some mold. Some greenway here, I don't know where I am. So Google Maps did not say this was an unpaved stretch. And uh, I don't have a mountain bike, but it's only a couple miles, so here we go. I guess I gotta figure this out. I guess the true adventure is when you have something happen you're not expecting. And I wasn't expecting to have to crawl through that gate. I don't see any no trespassing signs. And, uh, I just went from strip mall, urban, crazy development, five miles that way, to this. My biggest fear really was, was dogs. I was pretty sure I was going to come out into somebody's property, and uh, I never bought that pepper spray, so I felt pretty exposed. But after three, four miles, I think, I uh, ended up coming out onto a cross street, and I was just six blocks away from State Road 524. And that's a whole nother story right there. It's funny, with all the rain that I've been getting, there's nothing I'd like more than a little bit of rain right now. I think it's 102 degree heat index. been the hardest part of the whole trip in this 24 mile stretch right here. Anytime the road is just straight and long, it just, uh, there's nothing that breaks it up. So you just gotta kinda 
Get in the zone. Get in the zone. Auto zone. So that's what I do. I get in the zone. I got about 23 miles left to the hotel. I uh, ran out of water about an hour ago and uh, I was trying to tough it out and then I started seeing these signs, local produce, we accept debit cards, and then I run up onto uh, Corey selling some Georgia peaches. Probably the best peach I ever had in my life. And uh, He gave me his last bottle of water. And then told me that the uh, the convenience store is just two more miles down the road. So uh, I wasn't going to die. That's what I felt like. My legs are good. My hands are good. My arms are killing me. And... Uh, I did it. Freaking did it. I'm 52 years old and I just called. Ooh. I'm 52 years old and I just drove my bike across the state of Florida with 70 pounds of gear, including the bike. So, yeah.
So I did what I set out to do. I rode my bike across the state of Florida, and uh, the next morning, Carla drove over from St. Pete, and we spent a nice afternoon together in Cocoa Beach, and then headed home. Give me audio. Everything I